Hello everyone, Colin Kanad here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to do something for me. Today I'm going to make this little file drawer companion and it's going to sit right next to my hanging file uh, box in the drawer. It'll sit side by side and it's a place that I can use for storage for all sorts of things in the bottom. The top's got a little pull out tray and there's even a lid to sit on top of that. So stick around and watch me make this little companion for my file drawer. I've preset the fence and preset the height of the blade. I just need to go ahead and make my first cut. I'm finding my sliding miter saw is not wide enough to cut a lot of the material that I need. So now I'm resorting to my uh, crosscut sled on my table saw uh, and it works great. So I've set it all up and I've set up a stop block because I need to cut two of the ends and both of the sides and they all need to be 10 inches high. So I just set up a stop block there and I can cut them all at the same time. Now the first thing I need to do is put the carcass together and there's one of the sides and there's one of the ends and you know I could just put them together put a little bit of glue in there and tack them together or whatever but you know what I want to do make a little bit nicer looking because I don't like to see the end of plywood so what I'm going to do is just cut a small rabbit in there and then that plywood will just sit nicely in there and then I'll be able to put some glue in there just make it look a little bit nicer. Now I've just isolated the bearing so that it runs smoothly across and we're all ready to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got my 23 gauge pinner here, so I'm going to put some glue down here and we'll just pin those so that they stay temporarily. That'll be our, our medium for clamping. Now what's going to make our box really rigid is when I can glue the bottom on. That'll really keep it from moving around. But to do that I need to run some thin strips around the bottom of the box then I could drop the base onto it. And to cut those thin strips I've got my thin strip guide here in the table saw. What I've got here is my uh, edge guide jig and there's the bottom and there's the box and I've wrapped this in this thin film packing because I don't want it to stick to the bottom while I'm working on it. So what I, all I need to do now and I've taken those strips and I've just cut them to size. All I'm going to do now is run some glue along one side. And I'm only going to put it on one side, just a strip like that is all I'm going to need. And the reason I'm using this base like this, a little awkward to get in there, is I want this to be flat on the bottom because when I drive some pins in there, I want the strips to be flat against the base. Thank you. 
So there's the strips down there. You can see them on there. The next thing I need to do is to drop the bottom on there. And I was going to use my air nailer to tack them on. But if you look closely, <laughs> you can see that the little nails are coming through even on that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to run some glue on there. And I'm not even going to tack it. I'm just going to let friction and a little bit of weight and that's all I'll need on there to keep that bottom nice and tight. And by the time the glue sets in uh, um, 30 or so minutes, that'll be nice and tight. There we go. And I don't need much on there. Maybe I'll put a couple of battery packs on there. Okay, while the tray was drying, what I did was I need to be able to drop this in. It needs to stop in there. So I need to put some little stopper um, strips in there. So inside, I've got some pieces of scrap wood that I had laying around. And what I did was I just took a minute to cut them to size and did a couple of tests. And I find that if I use a couple of these strips that we just cut and put them on the inside and then drop that on there, it's the perfect height because now I still have room to put a little drop top on top. Okay, I found another piece of wood and I you can see that it was varnished on one side at one time. Uh, but what I want to do, I want to um, this I want this lid to be able to drop on here. Actually, I'm going to put the the uh, this side up. Uh, but if you, we look at it this way, and where I want to cut is I want to cut a rabbit in each side here. So I need to go from the inside here to the outside of this and I've just measured that and that's about a half an inch and I'm going to go and do that on the table saw. Now normally on the table saw when we're doing cross cutting we're using a, a miter gauge and whenever we use a miter gauge we typically never use the fence but I'm making an exception today because I'm not cutting through the wood I'm just cutting into the wood because I've set the blade at 3 8 and I'm also going to be using a push block which will do a couple of things. It keeps my board um, level or straight but it also reduces tear out at the back here. So I'm going to run through this um, this side, turn it around this side, then I'm going to readjust the fence a little bit closer and I'm going to do that two or three times until I get really close to the fence um, and then I'll make the last cut and that should give us that rabbit that we want in there. Okay, let's have a quick look at that. Oh, perfect. All right, let's do a round over on the top now. So 
So in my desk that I used to do all my editing of these videos, I have right beside me a file drawer and it holds this plastic hanging file thing and to keep it from moving around in the drawer I have this old shoe box and you can tell it's in pretty ratty shape and this is going to replace look at that it's the perfect size it's going to replace the shoe box and underneath is going to be the storage for all of the stuff that I don't use very often. It's just a storage area for things that I need occasionally. But the top part is perfect because I can put my scissors, my, actually I don't open very many envelopes anymore, um, the special pens that I need, uh, all of that, my, there we go. That's perfect. You know, that's one of the things I just love about woodworking. You can make stuff custom designed to whatever needs you have. Uh, and for me, this is just perfect. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.